Urban beekeeping. How'd you get into that? What's that about? These are questions I hear often. There's been a lot of buzz around it here in Toronto. Not just the beekeeping, but a movement to source food more locally. My friend started a company that teaches you how to beekeep, and I've never looked back. I never could have guessed that I would one day be on a rooftop as I am now, holding trays of honeybees. But it's certainly been a pleasant surprise. One of my favorite things to do is watch as the honeybees embark on remarkable flight plans. Finding the queen bee is the pivotal moment when opening up the hive. She's its heart. As you can see, we don't use any protective gear when inspecting the hive. Working without the extra layers allows us to get closer to the bees and their world. You're right there in the moment with the bees, and you've synced with their time their point of view. I never could have known that a simple jar of honey could be the beginning of so much more. The urban beehive demonstrates the beauty of taking some things slow. In a city full of fast moving things, the urban beehive allows you to effectively slow down time. Working with honeybees then becomes one of the ultimate practices in mindfulness. The gift of honey is one thing, but the gift of an idea, a new way of living, and thinking about how we shape our lives continues to blossom.